missing JC on your TV. Yeah, to tell the world. It's not just country. Live and direct from Music City. Leave your mark on the world by making history. Hottest of the hot, this is your shot to blast off your career to the number one spot. We just want to make sure the whole world can watch and be the helping hand to push you over the top. Country, blues, jazz, and hip hop. And we film it all down at the hard rock. Asking the artists about their hard knocks and what motivates them to never ever stop. And it's gonna be hard to make sure you tune in and make sure that you watch. Cause it's not just country. That's what they yelling when they ask. Welcome to the all new Not Just Country. Each week, Not Just Country will spotlight two of Nashville's best music artists and bands from all genres of music that's not just country. Let's get right to it. There's lots to see and hear on today's show. Nashville, not just country. We're at Nashville's Bicentennial Mall, built to honor 200 years of Tennessee history and all of its different backgrounds and cultures, which have all helped to make our city's music truly diverse. Our first artist, Reeves Gabrels and his imaginary friends will make you wonder if what you're seeing is real. Reeves Gabrels is a guitarist whose style combines the visceral energy of rock, the harmonic sophistication of jazz, the emotional honesty of blues and country, and an ear for the unusual. Reeves is no stranger to the spotlight. His many credits include being an essential part of David Bowie's 90s sound and guitarist on Bowie's Tin Machine Project, as well as recording and performing with some of the world's biggest bands like Ozzy Osbourne, Mick Jagger, The Rolling Stones, Seal, and Nine Inch Nails, just to name a few. Reeves Gabrels and his imaginary friends are ultimately unreal. Check them out. I stood accused when I commit a crime. You say I'm late, but I'm just unstuck in time. Saw daylight come. It was time to go.
not just country. Not just country, I'm sitting here with Reeves Gabriel. We're so happy to have you with us today. Thank you, it's nice to be here. How are you, man? I'm good, I'm good. We were, good. we were talking earlier about the travels and uh, the things that you've been doing and the sacrifices that you had to make. Uh, moving from New York to Boston. Oh yeah. I want to touch on that. I moved up to, uh, to Boston to go to music school and uh, I had a guitar and I had a duffel bag full of clothes and uh, I found a place to live that was $18 a week, a rooming house, uh, with a hot plate and all the roaches you could kill. And uh, that, that's all part of the sacrifice. I just kept telling myself, you know, this is, you know, this is what you always heard about, you know, uh, suffering for your art and, you know, and just put my head down. I don't think I would do it today. I, <laughs> now, but, what was uh, the change? It, it was all I ever really thought about. I haven't made a decision probably since I was 18 that didn't, wasn't based around, can I play music when I get there? Will there be musicians to play with there? You know, can I, can I do this when I get there? And so, you know, I just had this, had this drive uh, to, to do it. And that's the, that's the thing that I find like... Uh, How do you keep that though? Well, you know, you, you, it, I just have it. I, but, but, kids will ask me like, you know, well, I want to be in music, what do you think? Or, you know, is it, it sounds like a good career. You know, and it's not, it, it's not really a career. It's a calling to me. It's a way to make a living if you're lucky, but, but for the amount of things that you, you know, the amount of uh, holiday dinners with your family you miss, or the nights that you're not home with the people you care about, or, or things like that, or, you know, births of children even, because you're, on the, you're in, in touring in Europe, or things like that. Um, all of that stuff is, is uh, is, is a sacrifice that's part of it, unless it's an obsession, unless you'd be unhappy without it. It's not really a career choice. So why Nashville? Um, well, I had, I had, at the beginning of uh, the, the 2000s, I, I had found that I had Lyme disease and this thing called Morgellons disease. When I was recovering from that, they give you Cipro, which is what they give you for anthrax. Right. Wow. And, and that actually made me legally blind and I lost my equilibrium for a, a few months. And a good friend of mine that I had been in bands with in Boston 30 years ago talked me into, uh, into uh, he said, I'll, I'll find, there's a house here that's for rent that, that's really nice. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna line it up for you. Just get in your car and come out to Nashville. You'll have a place to live and then you can figure out if you wanna stay there or not. So on his, on, on his advice and insistence, I, uh, I just I, I took my cat and some clothes and a couple of guitars and an amp and put it in my car and just drove to Nashville. 
and I've been here ever since. Well, I'm looking forward to the performance, and I thank, well, thank you so you. much. We're here at NJC. Thanks. Thank you. Just country. Hey everybody, my name is Chris Blair, owner of the Listening Room Cafe here in Nashville, Tennessee. We have become known as the best music venue in town with the best sounding room, and I'm so proud of that. But what you don't know, our lunch menu is diverse with daily specials Monday through Friday, where we feature locally grown produce and freshly baked breads. And don't forget about our $5 lunch special. I'm really proud of where we've come in the past three years, and I pledge to keep providing you with the best music in town. So come on down and see us real soon. Our next artist, Danny Salazar and Trova Urbana, beautifully blend both the English and Spanish language together with a unique Latin American sound with a bit of rock and reggae. Catchy grooves that move you through the night and breathless melodies that soothe the soul, they instantly captivate their audience. Always a big favorite at a variety of music festivals. Check them out and you'll see why.
just country. What up, it's your boy 5-3, one third of the super group Black Catfish. Shout out to Slim Chan, shout out to Sam Bricks. Now I want y'all to be on the lookout for this new single dropping August 18th. It's called Wonderful. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But until then, I want y'all to munch on this AY Go. It's in the streets right now. Go on and get your plate up. It's good food. It's all prepping everybody for the amazing album coming in December. Your third. It's 5-3 signing out. Black catfish. <laughs>Live on the Green, a free six-week concert series held in Nashville, Tennessee. This downtown event promotes sustainable living, an active lifestyle, environmental and community awareness, while providing entertainment from a diverse group of artists and bands.
Nashville, not just country. I was injured in a horrible car accident. I couldn't do the same thing that I used to do. From depression and loss of work and worried about how I was going to take care of my son to now working at this great place changed my life and his life. Goodwill has helped me do that. Give it to Goodwill and your donation gives Tanya and others the chance to earn a living and make a life for their families. Give a bat and ball and you give us confidence. Introducing Guitar Apprentice. This ain't no video game. Up next, join NJC Stephanie Langston as she talks one-on-one -on -one with record store owner Doyle Davis. Looking for something new, something hot, or just the hottest music going on today? Look no further than Grimey's new and pre-loved music. They have all type of music, from local to regional to international anything your ears would perk up for. Also, they have in stores for artists, release and listening parties. I mean, there's something going on there every week, if not every day. Hey there, I'm Stephanie Langston with NJC TV here at Grimey's new and pre-loved music with co-owner Doyle Davis. Now, Doyle, I know Grimey's has been around for more than a decade. I've been supporting the store from the beginning. You came on Thank a you. couple of years later and tell us kind of what the idea was for you to jump on board. Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, Grimey had opened the record store originally. It was primarily a used record store. And uh, Nashville was lacking a full-service independent record store. We had a lot of chains, but we didn't have a great indie store. So he started talking to me about quitting my job, and I did. It took about a year of convincing, but came on board, and we cranked this thing up, and it's just grown ever since. What are some of the changes that you made? I know you added a lot more new music. We started carrying all the hot new releases and, and really delving into, uh, you know, our passions as well and started pulling the customers that were coming in. What do you want? What do you want out of a record store? Got some of our greatest hot tips initially from the customers that were shopping. I know over the years you guys have kind of helped defy the music industry. How do you stay ahead of the game? <laughs> uh, it, honestly, we just follow our passion more than anything else. Uh, everybody here has sort of a different specialty as far as music, so whatever you're into, we should be able to help you and cover it. And. Uh, you know, we engage the, the public, uh, the community of Nashville. We really embrace the local community, and I think they've embraced us. Uh, and one of the ways you guys do that is by holding in stores. Tell us about some of those. Yeah, well, you know, this in this day and age, you don't really have to go to a record store. You can get everything you need at home through your computer, whether it's digital downloading or mail ordering CDs. So uh, free live music in the record store is a good reason to go to the record store. So we come up with events all the time. I mean, later today we have a Devo listening party, and we're going to have cake and uh, you know, we do things like that. We have bands play, uh, whatever we can get people to get out of their house and come on down to the record store. You guys draw in hundreds for record store day. I mean, you have dozens of thousands. bands play, thousands, <laughs> thousands. Oh, yeah. The place is so small, you wouldn't think you could hold that many. But I know it's out in the parking lot, and right. I've seen the fences fall down from the crowd that's come out here before, <laughs> literally. For, for the Avet brothers, they did. They climbed yes. up on the fence. Tell us about some of the people that have been here before. Oh, my gosh. We've had uh, the Black Keys, um, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Feist, uh, Brian Wilson, uh, David Byrne, Elvis Costello. We brought Metallica to play in the basement. You know? Awesome. <laughs> it's been pretty amazing. You guys are known to support local musicians. As mm -hmm. a local musician out there, can you tell them how they can maybe get their albums in your store? Uh, we'll take albums on consignment by local musicians. It has to be somebody who actually lives and performs in the Nashville area. And really, they have to get out and play live, too. I mean. Uh, but if you've got a CD or an LP, we even have some of the, the young bands consigning cassettes again, believe it or not. Wow. And we're selling them. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can bring your stuff down on consignment and we'll give it a shot. If it sells, we'll restock it, maybe eventually start buying it from you outright. How can people find out more about you guys? Uh, you can go to our website, grimies.com. Just Google Grimies will be the thing that comes up. Wonderful. Thank you, Doyle. Okay, you bet. Nashville not just country.
did you just put into the clam chowder? Tomato. <gasps> Have you had your laugh today? Check out www.cs4d.com. Safe work. With Tim Todd. Emily Steele. Chicken oh, punk chicken. <gasps> hey. Ender Bowen. Go to www.cs4d.com and blow. Join NJC Stephanie Langston as she talks one-on-one -on -one with Buddy Lee Attractions booking agent, David Cassini. Now, David is no stranger to the spotlight. He played bass guitar with Ted Nugent, the Motor City Madman, until becoming an agent for Buddy Lee Attractions. Nashville, not just country. <laughs> With KC Rhodes, giving you something so you all just know. Giving you something that you think is funky. Me and KC or KS Funky. You're wrong gonna name. like this. I know I said it wrong. That's cool. Sorry about that. I put it off in the Back song. At you. KS Rhodes, let us explode. Giving everything that you truly need to know. Let it unfold and you know it's gonna be hot. Making sure everybody truly gets a shot. I kick the freestyle it straight off the top. Now give it up for him because he got the beatbox. Hot. All right. Hot. All right.